Good day. Uh, if you're in England, then welcome to a shitty weather day. Um, hopefully my sound is okay. I've got a bit of music in the background. Uh, I should have my CPU thing up in the top corner that tells us whether or not my machine is about to crash because I've got too much going on. Um, and um, because it's raining, my, well, the short hair cap that I have is indoors and um, constantly meowing at me to feed him uh, because I think he's got like bad teeth. I've only just realized, so he got really thin. And then we started giving him soft food and he's just like really fucking hungry now. Um, so yeah, if you hear some kind of like meowing in the background, that is him. He's being a total dick today. He's gone through like three sachets already. Um, uh, and the long hair cat's currently outside underneath the rain. She can't feel the water hitting her because she has long hair. And then she'll come in like a wet sock. Anyway, so if you're joining me today, uh, hello. I have down the side, one of these sides, is uh, the chat window uh, to say hi. Um, how do I do a waving avatar wave? There we go. Um, that is to let me know that I'm not completely alone. Um, but if I am, it's not a big deal. Uh, I've still got stuff I need to do and this is my hour to do it basically. So I have a very specific plan today. Um, uh, I am going to build out the infrastructure for the FFConf 2019 website. So. I'm just going to immediately switch across, be completely by myself today. If you are, if you're watching, please say hello in the chat thing, and then I'll try and pronounce your 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 Twitch handle, um, and I'll say hi back. Hey, v see, American living in Malaysia. Wow, cool. Um, what time is it in Malaysia? Hey, Vince. Uh, that's easy to pronounce, Vince. Um, okay, so, looks like it might be just you and me, Vince. Um, I have a massive audience uh, for this channel. <coughs> just 9pm. There we go, that's not bad. Um, okay, so, this is the current FFConf website, um, and the, uh, really this will be, so we've got to put some kind of dynamic content in the back of it uh, because we're going to have the talks and the sessions. Uh, yes, the pretzel thing is a bot. It's playing the music, which... Can you hear that? Do you want to hear that? I can turn it off. The music. I'll leave it in the background. And if it gets annoying or too loud, just let me know and I'll, I'll turn it off. It's when it plays songs, it just tells us what it's playing. Um... So, right, so the this is the current 2019 website. I basically hacked it together uh, over a couple of hours. Um, and we're about to launch the uh, tickets. Um, the regular websites kind of look like this. Um, so this is 2018. Uh, we have menus and so on. And then we have sessions and um, uh, all the content that goes with the sessions. And that's what I need to kind of build into uh, this website. So um, I'm going to be doing this from scratch. I don't have to actually do any design for this because um, uh, Julia Alfonso is the uh, developer who's going to actually do the implementation, um, but I need to build out the infrastructure um, and the pages that are going to link up to the API that has all the data and so on. I'm going to kind of walk through how to do that, how I'm going to do that. Um, I'm currently going to host it up on... Um, up on Netlify, and I think it is on Netlify right now. Um, yeah, so there's the 2019 version. Um, and it's in GitHub in an open source, um, or a public, I guess pretty better description, public repo. Um, so you can look at what I did for the first version. And this is a um, first look. So uh, Vince, if you are literally the only person with me, you are the only other person to know what the FFCOMP 2019 website looks will look like. Although I suspect uh, Malaysia might be a bit of a, a trek. 
uh, to come to our conference, but still. So, um, Chris Mon, who I've worked with for a decade now, he's put together a design. Um, I tend to give him a kind of, uh, uh, like a mood board. Hey, Rizla Hunter. Rizla Hunter. Oh, yeah, 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 I think you were in before. Um... So yeah, he, he, I give him a mood board and he comes back with uh, designs this year. It was very much kind of like old print, uh, the French, revolu uh, French student revolution they had. And I really love this kind of logo. It looks like it's being kind of hand printed. Oh, hey, nice to have multiple names then, uh, Ben. <laughs> um, and you can see here the kind of print style that uh, we're gonna put together. But anyway, right, so. I'm going to go back to this, um, this website here is built using Eleventy. Uh, yep, yeah, FFConf is one year, one day this year, um, Sean. Uh, so, this website's built with Eleventy. There are a couple of options that I was considering. Eleventy is one of them. Um, I th think it would probably suit all our purposes. I quite like that I can inject data into any one of the web pages as I go along. Um, and I'm pretty familiar with it now. I built out the, um, I haven't announced it, but the FFConf archive website uh, went live a couple of days ago. Um, and this whole thing has like every single talk that we've ever had over the last uh, 10 years, in fact. Um, and you can watch the video, uh, listen to the audio. Um, it's all a static website. Um, I think it's going slow because uh, my machine is going a bit bananas, um, or I fucking hosed it in one fell swoop. Yeah, okay, so all this content is in uh, kind of just JSON data. Uh, it's got tweets, um, but it's all kind of generated using Leventy. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with it now. Um, and the other option is to go with uh, Next which is what we've previously done websites with, uh, Next.js with React. And the reason I like that, and I'm probably gonna use that, is because we can kind of, it, it lends itself really well to kind of small components. Um, I like Next because it's zero configuration. Um, and the other one is uh, Nuxt but, uh, for Vue. I'm not that familiar with Vue, um, but I quite like it. And I like Nuxt because it kind of guides you down a very specific path as to how to structure a website, um, and structure your code. Um, and it, 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 it feels nice to kind of code with, whereas React feels a bit more kind of um, uh, like machine-y, I guess, and Vue feels a bit kind of gooier. Like it's mixed into the HTML a bit more. I don't know. Um, but the reason I'm not gonna go with uh, Nuxt is because Next gives me more control over, uh, more customizability. So, in particular, I want to put uh, entire blobs of uh, markdown for pages like uh, our like privacy page and so on. So, um, I did a little project, a personal project for, my, for myself. Uh, I mean, which you can use if you wanted to. I haven't publicised this at all. Um, called MXBin, um, and it's for um, sending kind of one-shot emails to a, a domain. But the um, privacy and about and terms and conditions, these are all just markdown pages um, and they kind of just magically work with Next. So I'm gonna take that approach. Um, so um, I guess the start is to check out the new branch. Uh, this is gonna be literally from the beginning, right? Uh, for each uh, V uh, tickets, I guess. Uh, phase one, we call it, okay. Uh, so the current phase is phase, um, the, what you see on the website now is phase zero, then we have tickets live, then, um, which is phase, pre-tickets, phase zero, tickets live, phase one, sessions live, phase two. Um, yeah, doubtful games, it's, it, it's, I'm really chuffed with it. Uh, it looks great, and, um, but I haven't kind of announced it properly, and, but it, it I like it. There's a little bit of history in there as well, which I want to uh, blow out a bit more, which is pretty cool. Anyway, um, so I'm going to install uh, Next. Um, and I think, in fact, actually, what I'm going to do is install Canary. Uh, re what do I want? I want React and React DOM. Yeah. Um, 
So I was at JS Conf last week and um, I met with, um, or met, I bumped into and chatted to uh, Tim, and I forget his last name, he works on Next. And um, I'm a big fan of Next because it's, like I said, there's no configuration. I even kind of went to, um, I made a uh, video training course for Next. Um, and this is a few versions back now, but what's really cool in Next now is that you can add API endpoints and, um, what else is it? Um, oh, it's something else really useful. Completely forgotten. But API endpoints inside of the Next project without ed having to add any server, which was uh, really cool. So we're gonna probably look at it in this. So. I'm just going to kind of park all these files, like git remove them, git rm index, um, include site, and I guess I'll leave assets there for a minute. Um, uh, I guess site is being ignored. Git rm. Uh, F, what was it? F was recursive. Uh, we want to get rid of the index. The includes, yeah. Okay. Um, so let's have a look what's in this project. Okay, so this is a bunch of backgrounds. I, I guess I kind of just drop these in and I hope that it'll look all right. Um, so uh, with. Uh, Next, we're going to have a pages directory. Um, we need to edit the package so that we do um, next build, I think it is. Um, start uh, Dev is just next, and then start is next start. And um, I'm going to use next to generate a completely static website. And I'm going to use a trick that Julia Alfonsi um, showed me that removes all the JavaScript from next. So. Our 2018 website is next, uh, next base, but there is no JavaScript in, uh, well, there's some tracking there. And bits down there, but there's no next in this next project. So to, to tell if there's a project, uh, like a next base React project, you'll see at the bottom, like next, just a whole bunch of variables called next. And we've actually gone ahead and stripped those out uh, which is, it makes it completely static, basically. Um, right, so we've got pages. Um, we're going to have index.js, and just to get started, um, export default uh, hello world. All right, this is pretty basic at this point, nothing special. Uh, npm run dev. Uh, so we should be running on localhost 3000. So this is just to make sure that things are working, basically. It's taking a, I think it's taking a little while to start up because I've got OBS running, I've got Chrome running, I've got um, the stream is going online. I might pause my Dropbox. No, I don't think it's doing anything. But I can see my CPU is kind of like way up. Oh, that's a fucking brilliant start. Look at that. I've seen this before. I can't remember why. It might be the... Um... Oh, for fuck's sake, this is a great start, isn't it? Um... <clears throat> MPX next. I did a new project recently with, uh, with next, and it didn't have these problems, but I've seen this before, where it has this weird error. Oh my god, this is good, isn't it? Um, you may need an appropriate loader for this. I'm going to check the version of, uh, of Next that I've just installed. Seems alright, isn't it? What's up, Dars? We're making, we're making the FFConf 2019 uh, website with all the data pointing to an API. Oh yeah, so uh, the data is going to come from ffconf.org slash API. Uh, I think was it? 
Yes. It is the CIA mainframe thingamajiggy. FFConf. So FFConf is the conference I run. Um, and... I have an API that I can show. Oh, fuck beans. Um, something like this. There we go. So there's JSON response. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to use that to drive the uh, content for the FFConf uh, website. And we're going to implement a skeleton for this uh, design. Okay, if we can get the damn um, next server to start up. So, let's have a look at the next server. Let's have a look at what's going on. Right, so, uh, what? I had this problem before. I can't remember what it was. I'm just going to Google the shit out of it. And by Google, I mean DuckDuckGo. Uh, G. This looks like what we're looking for. Raised in November. It's repro reproduces it, blah, blah, blah. Same problem. Okay. Like, I don't think there's any hidden files there. Do a babble? Tell you what, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to create a brand new directory because I <clears throat> don't have time to mess around. Um, make the FFConf 2019 2. Yeah. I could. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, let's just do that then. All right. Um, I have to finish it exactly three, so we've only got I've only got forty minutes left, um, and minutes of this is going to be lost to doing installs. All right. So um, I have to finish at three because I am going to um, uh, pick up my kids from school. Make pages npm init dash f. So init dash f says just make a package, um, and then oh sorry. And then what are we going to do? npm i next canary react react on. That should be it. <clears throat> okay, so while that's going, I'm going to put uh, a new index file in there. Let's just have a look at what's going on there. Uh, Index.js uh, export default. Um, <clears throat> and we need a like a docs, and this would be um, code of conduct md, and we'll have like a privacy md. And um, the plan here is that we'll use the mdx uh, plugin for next. So uh, mdx next is. Yeah, I got an idea. I do do lessons. Um, in fact, if you want to learn more about next, like I said, uh, next training. I think if you use subscriber, there's a discount. I can't remember. Um, oh, oh, right. There you go. Okay, so installed, let's... What is wrong with this? Why are these... Oh, that file's still there. Let's get rid of that. Something has just jumped. My CPU is jumping. Um, let's get... Uh, let's just do it from here. MPX uh, next. As a DARS, if you're a student, you can email me with proof of student and get a discount, and it's half price. Um, uh, but yeah, worth getting a job as well. <laughs> right, Logos 3000. 
Fuck. Okay, cool. Right, so we've got Hello World working. So that is the first part. So the next bit, really quick, is to get uh, Markdown pages working. So we're going to do uh, privacy. Uh, this is about ethical privacy. Okay, so we have a Markdown file, and then what we're going to do is install uh, MDX for next.js. And this requires uh, changes to the um, uh, next config, so we need a um, next.config.js. Where is it? Oh, this isn't it. Right, let's um, look at the website. There you go, getting started next.js. All right, we'll have a bit of that. Let's pop that in there. And then this is the uh, next.config.js. So this lets us use MDX or Markdown inside of our project. But we want to go uh, a step beyond that. We actually want to do the page extensions bit, so this thing here. Um, and what that, uh, next.config, what that will do, I'll put that in the wrong place, is let when next runs and it sees in the pages directory a markdown file, it will run it through MDX and render it out. Um, so I'll just put that file in the wrong place. I'm just going to move it up a little bit. I have to say, this music is making me really kind of um, panicky. <laughs> Get rid of the old uh, website. I think we need a bit more of this to make it work, but let's just check. So, hello world works, and then we got with a docs and then privacy. Sweet! Okay, so if we check that, we should find that we've got. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's a DOM with it all, and let's just view source. It's not very easy to see, but you, can, you should be able to spot it. There we go, H1. Cool. Okay, so we've now got Markdown working as uh, pages. So what I'm going to do is just grab the um, Code of Conduct. I'm just going to copy it into uh, here. Okay. Um, it'll need updating. Yeah, it'll obviously need updating at the time, um, but that's a starting point. So we've now got a code of conduct. No, nope, didn't like that. Unexpected. Oh, okay, because it's MDX, it doesn't like us dropping uh, that in. It's got BR somewhere. There it is. So it's got to be like JSX uh, syntax. There you go. Cool. So we've got the code of conduct in there. Um, the thing that we're going to do is go to our index page and let's get some uh, sessions. So sessions equals um, for the second, let's just copy all of this in. Uh, actually, let's do uh, import sessions from data sessions dot json I don't know if there's a json loader I'm just going to hard code this for a moment uh, sessions dot json see if that works let's do um, let's do fragment and let's dump out the uh, sessions that we have so um, uh, session dot map and then we're going to drop out a I don't know p tag with uh, what is in the sessions title so let's dump these out um, dot title does that look alright no that blew up ah oh, fuck it doesn't like the JSON uh, oh no pause error okay
Okay, that's cool. That works. So um, what we did here is um, basically just load in the JSON and map over each uh, element in the JSON, print out the title. That's not what we're going to do ultimately. We're going to get it from an API. So we're going to change this to, um, uh, well, I guess we're going to need some components. Let's create a directory of components. And we'll probably have a session component. And um, going by Zeppelin, we've got a photo, time, name, title, talk, and origin story. So we're going to do um, a const session equals and then some stuff. Let's just do title to start off with. And let's return div class name equals session. Um, so this is where Julia is going to step in and kind of tidy this all up for me. Uh, make it kind of usable. Um, I'm going to do div class equals uh, class name equals uh, talk. Um, I don't know, h3 my talk. And then we've got description. Yeah, we've got description. So, ah, there we go, Julia. Hi. Um, I guess the description's probably going to be marked down. Let's just dump it straight into a p tag for the time being. Um, description. Um, export default session. All right, so we got. That looks alright. We've got ESLN errors. Uh, we'll come back to that in a bit. Um, import session from component session. And then we're going to map that into. Um, I guess that. Um, and I think the sessions themselves, they have an ID. Yeah, I guess the slug is the ID. So let's put that on there. Key equals um, dot slug. Let's have a look at how that looks. OK, that's cool. Um, so really, I've got a feeling this might need to be marked down. So we can have a quick look at MDX to see how we uh, use that inside of React. I think we can just import it, you know? No, wait, that won't work. Um, so you just want to put markdown straight in, JSX. I think it wants to be... Yeah, it's going to have to go through the actual kind of parser. Um, MDX document. Uh, I'm looking for where I can kind of just say turn this from React, uh, sorry, from Markdown into uh, JSX. I don't know if I can do that. All right, fuck it, it doesn't matter. It'll do for, t for, for now. Um, all right, so what we're gonna be doing is hitting this API instead of uh, hard coding it in. So I'm going to do const page equals, and then we're going to do export default page, and then we're going to do um, page dot get initial props equals, um, and then we're going to do uh, this is going to be an async function. So async, and we're going to do const res equals await uh, fetch, and then that URL. And then when it's uh, when we actually kind of go live or when we start kind of go looking at going live, this we changed to 2009. So at the moment, there's nothing under 2009 um, it's because I'm publishing any data about it yet. So we'll get to there. And then comps JSON, or in fact sessions equals um, await res dot JSON, and then we're going to return um, sessions, which then gets passed in as a prop to here, and that should be an S. So we hit save, 
didn't work. Right, we have no fetch. So the, this will work on a client side, but it won't work on a server side. And the reason for that is that on a server side, there is no fetch method. So we need to get fetch. So let's get that in there. Right, so npm i isomorphic unfetch is the one that I use. And then we're going to do uh, import fetch from isomorphic unfetch. And once that's installed and I hit save, it should all work. Okay. So we'll do a hard refresh. Cool. Okay, so that's now working. We can get rid of our data. Although it might be worth keeping just for kind of local sessions, but still, <clears throat> that works. Um, so. Here, what else do we have? We've got like a bunch of uh, data points. I'm pretty sure the way that Julia wants to want to handle this is by putting, like, making a data file probably in the data directory that I just nuked, um, and like, uh, I don't know, data.js. That's a terrible name. Module exports, uh, export default, and then it would just be like, uh, date is the uh, uh, I'm here. Hello, Henry. There's not many people in the ch the chat. They're not. We're not talkative. Julia is, but everyone else isn't. Um, so, oh wait, yeah. So, like, there we've got some data. Um, this is kind of where I might have used 11T, but it'll do. Um, so let's just import that as well. Import data from data data. That's a stupid name, like super, super dumb. Um, data dot date. Oh Christ! We have to come up with better variable names, like straight away. How are we doing? That work? Save. I think my CPU is starting to, okay, starting to kind of struggle a little bit. I think the, how's the light as well? Because I feel like my battery on my light is dying. Oh, that's went dark. Hang on, come back, come back, come back. Yeah, the light is dying and it's super, super grim here in England. It's just shitty rain. Okay, so uh, we've got the uh, conference talks in there. We've got the uh, the talk. We don't have the speakers actually. Um, shit, we need the speakers in there. So, uh, oh, we've got the bio there. Let's pop that in as well. So, um, I guess it's all contained inside of the um, speaker. So we've got. I guess it's kind of the. Is that a session? I guess uh, H three, uh, my origin story, and this will be. Uh, speaker dot bio. That work? Fuck no, I didn't. Okay, speaker. It's right there. So one of these doesn't have a speaker. No, they all have speakers. Um. Oh, you silly muppet. Speaker, there we go. Forgot to drop it in. So Julia's saying own component. Yeah, we can do that. So the whole point of using React in this case is separate components. So um, origin.js. Uh, speaker equals speaker. That'll do. Sort of. I feel like I'm going super, like, not bright. Yeah, hang on, hang on. You're getting ahead of yourself, speaker. Wait a minute. That's the bio. That's the, um, this bit. Let's import that bad boy. Import origin from origin, origin, orange gin. Oh, bracket. So there's no linter on this, which is why my layout is just a bit gnarly. 
There we go. We're kind of getting there. We've got the data in. Um, so what I'm going to do now, actually, is just commit this all into the project. Um, so I want to ignore the um, the next directory, and uh, let's get this actually rendering into um, the internet and getting a URL. Ah, so um, we need a git ignore file, which we have one here. So I'm going to stick .next in there, and let's just add this lot. I think I can just do a blanket add git commit. Uh, Initial files. Can you still see me? Or is it just a bit blurry? I mean, this is my... That's my light. It's... Like, does that help if I just point at myself? I've got... Light switches, but it causes banding. So I don't know how bad that is. It's dark outside. Ah, that's not too bad. There you go. We'll, we'll do that. Alright. Um, so... This committed. I'm gonna. I'm gonna chuck up to GitHub. Start off with. No, I'm not. Better with the main lights off. Oh, really? Like that. Um, origin. Okay. Oh yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Right. Um, origin. What do we call it? Uh, feet. Phase one. So that's going up to uh, GitHub, which is then connected to um, the Netlify project. Um, and I'm just going to check that we are deploying all the branches. So, nope, apparently we're not. Brilliant, Remy, do it. All of them. All right. So, where did that go? I don't think I went anywhere. Trigger. Can I deploy settings? All right, fuck it. The, the thing is, pushing that is not gonna actually cause it a build. It's gonna need um, a build command in the package, um, which is over here. So we've only got test. So we're gonna need um, build. Um, and we are going to do uh, next export, I think it is. Let's just check. Uh, npx next export. No, not a command. Um, let's check. Do we have help? We do. Export. There we go. That was pretty cool. Oh, I had the poo. Um, so npx next export. Fucker. Oh, no, you have to do a build first. Right, okay. Um, uh, next build and next export um, and then start we don't just gonna put dev in here for a minute we're not going to have a start because it's going to be on a static server thank you uh, Julie yeah there's a bit of latency on um, your chat messages receiving my eyeballs it's so dark here it's like summer in England so grim Okay, so we've got a built project. Um, apparently a Lambda page is omitted. I, I'm not entirely sure what has just been. Where did it put it? Great. Uh, next, npx export. Uh, so the nice thing is that next can kind of guess um, what the directory should be now. So we have this out directory. Um, we go into out, go into out. Um, we can see it's got kind of all the JavaScript for the next, um, but we have the static files for the 404 and index page and privacy and so on. So, right, let's um, ignore, git ignore, out, and then let's do, um, let's change these bits, commit, um, add build command, Right, let's send that to the internet. Sorry for all the flashing screens. I'm kind of going on fast forward. So if you watch this at double speed, it's impossible. That's that's the plan there. Right, deploys. Off it goes. Um, 
and I, th- I really I'm a huge fan of Netlify um, I like the fact that Master is going to be the uh, production branch so um, 2019 is going to remain like this while I completely mangle the output and then we're going to separate like preview URL for the build that we're working on now so um, off it goes shutting down is it done? I think it's nope it's not done so impatient failed ah because it doesn't tell it what to look at because it's trying to you ah oh. sod uh, I guess all right so the, the problem here is that deploy settings are using 11t and it's publishing the site directory except I need to public publish the um, the out directory and the build command is npm build so I'm going to change this but I then don't want to mess up current production so what I'm going to do is I think I can lock that future deploys no oh. Oh, we'll just see how this works it might be okay uh, npm run build out Wait, the project you're using is a big... No, that was my blog, so Henry, um... Or Henry, rather, not Henry, I don't know, Henry or Henry. Um, that was my blog that I was talking about with um, the WebP thing, um, which in the end I didn't use uh, the WebP image because there was just... that For 15K, Given all the other changes I can make, it wasn't worthwhile. Um, um, but my blog is in oh my gosh, is in Netlify as well. While that's building, I tell you what, we can sh- I can show you something that's I think pretty hilarious. It is so dark in here, I literally can't see if I've got any coffee left. So last uh, last build of my blog. Look at that. Look how many look how many redirects I've got. Yes. All the redirects. In fact, I had another project that had 10,000 redirects. Um, right, cool. Let's have a look at this. Okay, that's working. Cool. So we have a static site uh, that has no use whatsoever. Um, okay, that's working online. So let's make ourselves a layout because this design has got a, a common header and a common footer. So this, uh, the code of conduct page. It's kind of one of our static content pages. Um, if Zeppelin loads, we've got the sponsors that sit at the bottom, we've got some quotes from previous attendees, and we've got this kind of nice bit and this footer. So we're going to make that uh, part of our web page. So we're going to create a uh, app file. Then we're going to just copy and paste the shit out of that from uh, GitHub. So Zyte, next. 15 minutes, we're doing okay. Um, underscore app.js. So we can just copy and paste this lot. So uh, Bosch, that's our app. And then what we're going to do is import layout from contain components layout. And then we're going to wrap our component with our layout. And uh, it's not really formatting that properly, but that'll be right. Components, new file, layout.js. I do export. Uh, that's const layout equals blah, children. And then we're going to do. Um, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. What we're going to do? Uh, main. Yeah, main. Children. Oops, sorry. Switching between too many different types. Uh, websites, things. Uh, something I think I have to restart um, pretty sure I have to restart next when I add a layout file so we can check by sticking in an h2 this is the layout because that should appear on every single page yeah so I've got to restart the project oh right okay off it goes uh, layout does not contain, no, we're not, def- uh, there we go, export default, 
layout, oh, default layout. Compiled. Um, where we are? Yeah. Okay. And let's check that's actually on the pages. So we got uh, what is it? Docs, privacy. Cool. Okay. So now we got our common layout bit. So this bit is appearing on every single page, and we can do things like uh, import head from next head. And we can, ah, it's a bit gnarly to stick it in the main. We could do, it doesn't make any difference. It feels weird to put it in the main though, head. Let me do title uh, ffconf2019. What's the title on the current ffconf? Uh, oh, imaginatively ffconf2019. What a dick I am. Um, okay, and then we can do, we could like, there's a font. I think we've got this this font here, so we could preload uh, that font. Where is it in the old star sheet? Uh, so I think we've still got the assets directory. Nope. Someone suggested I delete everything. Ah, doesn't matter. We can get that later. Um, so uh, we have a static directory with uh, next, and then we'll put our fonts in there. If we, um, uh, let's just pretend that's in there for the minute. And what we'll do is a uh, link rel equals preload as font href. Yeah. And then uh, static fonts. There. There we go. So we'll uh, prefetch the font before it actually tries to load it. Let's stick that in um, static as well. I don't know why I got a filter called CSS. Um, Julia, if you're listening, do you want SAS? I'm guessing Julia wants SAS. Um, let's make all the, yeah, there we go. And then we need to put the font back in because I lost it. Static. Um, so, Oh, where are we going? GitHub, GitHub, GitHub. GitHub is over here somewhere. I've lost GitHub. Cool either way. Uh, well, I'll leave it at CSS for the minute. Um, what are we doing? Getting out of GitHub. Yeah, that's the true, actually. So uh, you've got CSS variables and we've got uh, CSS grid, which I think is a way you're going to do uh, this kind of really nice layout up here, right? Um, fonts. Let's grab that. Uh, download. Cool. Let's pop that into the static directory. Um, fonts mv downloads. What was the font called? Abba. No. Abba. Oh, that was a book apart. Arba. There we go. So it's a font I bought that kind of looks really good for the kind of grungy, kind of uh, old newspaper -y feel I wanted. Um, so, uh, right, we've got some styles. Let's drop in. We've got the font loaded. We've got a style sheet. Let's add that style sheet into here. Um, link rel equals style sheet. Off topic, got to ask, how do you get your terminal? Oh yeah, I've got a ridiculous amount of uh, JavaScript that does that. Um, like quite literally, which LS, oh God. Um, I've got somewhere, um, LS. I can't remember where I put it. I put it somewhere. No. Oh, I can't remember where I put it. I've, I've, um, I have my own ls command, which pipes all of ls through it, um, and then kind of syntax highlights it and all that cool stuff. 
I can't remember where I did it. It's so clever. Hey, there we go. Nice LS. It, it's like a whole bunch of JavaScript. I'll put that online somewhere one day. Um, uh, how are we doing? Oh, yeah, Prime fonts. Cool. That worked. So, we've got fonts. Code of conduct is working. Okay. Uh, I We don't need every... I've gone a bit... Um, I can out all that for just a sec. It... Yeah, the, the LS thing, I just, I went a bit overboard, just, <laughs> just to be fair, that's not how it normally works. Um, so yeah, kind of, like, we've got the style sheet in, uh, we've got markdown support for files, which is what we want, we've got some component structure in place, um, we've got this data file that I've kind of ambitiously called data data, um, I guess... We'll have that as well, which um, Julia will manage. And what will happen is when we move to phase, I think it's phase one, two, means tickets go live and you can start buying uh, tickets to the conference. What are we missing? Uh, I mean, that's the start of stuff. It's We can chuck that up online as well. Let's see, make sure it works. Uh, git add, git commit, um, app. And layout. Oh, next, no next. So um, for fun, we like to strip next out of next. Um, and I haven't modulized this yet. Um, this was Julia's original idea, original work, but um, I've got a pretty common pattern for it now. So we can completely strip the JavaScript because if you look at, um, Sorry, need last year's. If you look at the website that we're planning to release, like there's no JavaScript needed for this. There's no, we don't need kind of like fast in a page loading. So we don't need to give the user all that extra JavaScript. Um, so in the um, 2018, oh, is it in pages? It's not, is it? Wait, where the fuck is the project? Uh, what am I looking at? I uh, don't know what I'm looking at. Maybe not, not here. It might be in my own repo. Next workshop. Let's have a look. Components. Ah, oh, for heaven's sakes. Where did I put it? Oh, that's the old workshop. Okay. Yeah, there's... um. There is a lot of latency on the chat. I'm sorry. Uh, it's not my fault, but... Um, so, just one last bit. The... Where the fuck did I put it? I'm sure I had like no next. Ah, oh, right, okay, let's switch to the command line. Um, no next. What's faster? Ack, orc, ack, or ag? Trying to think where I put it. What it does is it overloads on oh, the dead branch that we're saying. It overloads um, next rendering routines and it just strips out all the JavaScript. Thank you, Julia. Telling me where to, uh, to look for the project. I formalized it. Oh, come on, you bastard. Um, I can't remember where I put it. it. It's scanning my hard drive for it right now. Oh, 
I know, I realise it's dead time. This is why you got music. Alright. I've got it. Um... So, I'll just dump it in here. And I'll show you what it looks like. So, next, no next. Um, has these custom... Uh, next script, main and head, um, and um, the idea is if it runs in production, then it gives you a static version, um, and we do that by changing app.js, and instead of getting, oh fuck, it's all changed, isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, bugger, app, or is it document? I think it's the document, actually. Yeah, okay, so this is the document that we need. So we're just going to do a new file, document.js, which is a, like a magic um, uh, a magic file for next. Um, and that's it, basically. We're going to import from components, next, no, next. Um, and if we... Make sure that when it builds, it is uh, node env equals production. I'm gonna have to stop it here. I'm gonna add this, git commit, uh, no next. I push this online, just check that it works, and then that should give us a ver like this version of the page, but without the big blob of JavaScript at the end. So um, you can see like way down here is the JavaScript, but we don't need that. Um, it doesn't need to be in the page at all. Um, like I said, because it's a static page. So um, let's go back to the deploys. Off it goes. And I'm gonna have to kill the stream pretty soon because I have to take, pick my children up from school. And I don't think they're gonna understand. I'm just talking to a bunch of people on the internet Come on. All right, I need to test that. See it works. We've got that, let's check the uh, source code. Yay, there we go. Look, no JavaScript. So, I don't know how well you can see that, but there is no JavaScript in there. Um, there's literally an ID next. Um, but we've used, so, I mean, it, it's useful for me to build with React because it's a nice component model, but when it comes to the actual JavaScript, uh, to be, the product being deployed to the user, um, we don't need to have all that JavaScript there, particularly because of the design of this website where it's a very kind of static feel. I mean, they're gonna click through to maybe the workshop page, which is this one just here, um, which is slightly bigger, um, uh, like blob underneath, but otherwise, um, there's really no kind of clicking around uh, that's on site with like, yeah, everything kind of links off site, really. So we've got the, the comp code of conduct and that's it. Everything else is there. So I think that's it. Um, that's already committed into the project. Uh, Judy is gonna <laughs> pick it up, grab all the assets out of this website. Uh, everyone who's on the channel, the, the cast, you get to see an early preview of uh, what the 2019 website will look like. Um, and yeah, uh, it'll, be, it'll all be up in GitHub as well, so you can have a poke around if you wish. Um, I, I think 11T would, have, would work just as well for this kind of project, um, but I just went for what I knew was uh, quick, that I could do quick. Um, so anyway, cool, thanks for watching. 3 p.m. Gotta go. Gotta get some children. It's it, yeah, it's still raining because it's England, uh, but it is a little bit lighter, so I can see uh, into things. Thanks for joining me. See you next week. Bye. Gotta remember how to stop this. Bye bye.